Hi everybody, in this video we're going to show how to install the Monai Label module in Slicer. Let's get started. The first step is to download 3D Slicer. For that we go to the main web page and download either the preview release or the stable release. Once downloaded, uncompress the file and open Slicer. Then we go to View, Extension Manager, and under the section Active Learning, you should find the Monai Label module. Restart Slicer to save the changes, and then search for the Monai Label module. After that, Monai Label module is ready to be used. The next step is to start the Monai Label server using the Radiology app and the Deep Edit model. You can also use the segmentation model if you want. Using the Deep Edit model will allow us to see all the available tabs in the Monai Label module. We now go to Slicer and connect to the server. One way to check that the server is up and running is by clicking to the Next Sample button. The Monai Label module layout has mainly eight tabs. The first tab has a space to write a, the IP address of the server and a button, a green button to connect to the server. So you can leave this space empty if the server is running locally. In the first tab, you also have the application name, which in this case is the Radiology app, and also an option to load a volume from the slicer, from the user interface, and send it to the server. The second tab shows the hyperparameters for training and data cell loading. This is especially interesting for researchers or developers that want to customize the model training or model inference. The third tab shows the active learning strategy activated. In this case, we see that the strategy used is random, which is the vanilla one. In this tab, we also see the options to fetch samples from the server, submit labels to the server, run, stop the training, and training status indicators. The fourth tab is essentially the segment editor module from Slicer. We add it here for convenience. The fifth tab has the button to run automatic inference when a pre-trained model is available. The sixth tab is the smart editor that allows us to create or modify labels using Deep Grow or Deep Edit. The seventh tab is all about the Scribbles algorithm, which allows us to create labels from scratch, uh, similar to what we do with the Grow from Seed functionality in Slicer. We'll cover more about this algorithm in another video. And the last tab is Tools. This is an option for users that want to upload a segmentation for the current volume or upload a segmentation that comes from a different software. Let's see how we can upload a segmentation and a volume and send those to the Monai Label server. Open the label and then submit to the server. Let's now see how you can upload the volume from the user interface. So you go to Add Data and then find the volume. Once you select volume, make sure that in the description you put volume. And then submit to the server. Let's now assume that we have a pertain deep edit model. Um, here we show how a user can run automatic segmentation and then use clicks to modify the predictions obtained from the AI model. Finally, I'm going to briefly show you the available settings for Monai Label module. For that, we go to Edit, Application Settings, and then Monai Label. Among the available options are the Auto Run Pretend model which automatically performs inference every time we fetch an image from the server. The auto fetch next sample automatically shows a new sample after submitting a label to the server. And we also have the auto update model that automatically triggers the training process every time we submit a label to the server. One of the great things about Slicer is that it allows us to quickly customize the modules. For that, we only put the Slicer in developer mode and edit the user interface if needed. In here is where you could add more buttons or functionalities or, or just to customize the module. Otherwise, with all this information, you should now be able to explore Monai Label and start annotating datasets. See you at the next video.